Okay, so I want to be a I want to be a student leadership because I feel like I have like an impact in the school and like everyone like will have a better opportunity to face their fears and like ha and everyone will have a bigger impact on being safe and not being in like fear or danger. How about you, Dawn? Uh, I agree with that because some kids feel afraid in school because they're getting bullied. So I'd say if any of us become a student leader, then we could discuss something about bullying or make a, a bullying and no policy at this school. Mm -hmm. I agree with that because I see a kid, I see a lot of kids fighting and stuff, and that's not right. So we should like once a once a week on learning announcements. We should like say no bullying, no fighting. Tell people to stop and stand up for yourself. If you see people fighting, tell the teacher, and try and deal with this situation as best as possible. I'd like to add on to Sinai because um, you know how we can't see Miss Vanessa anymore. We have to control our emotions so we won't have to have that big of a problem. Yeah, I get what you're saying. We need to have like exercises on um, to control our emotions and keep everything in check. Yeah, because we have brain power. Yeah. Or we should have um, weekly or monthly assemblies on how bullying is not good and stuff, so kids can. So we can make it like a like a fun activity that's also a learning activity. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can do that. How about you, Diana? I want the kids to feel safe in the school community because sometimes I see some people being afraid of others because they bullied them or maybe there's a reason or there's like a memory in the past and it happened to me also and I want to like forget that matter and it, it's helping me. Because like wounds heal, but scars are pain. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. So I agree with you, Maya and Angel and Swing, because you could, someone could hurt you, and then you could forget about it, but like the scar where they hurt you, it still remains, so you always remember. And I feel like it's better that we're more involved in the student leadership because we have a better understanding of what the kids are going through. True, because us fifth graders are a role model for the younger kids. Because pretty much because right now we're the oldest in the school, but next year we're going to be the youngest. So while we're the oldest here, we might as well help out the younger kids. And make it worth it. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, how could you help your school community? What would you do? And we can like, I was already saying before, we could do more exercises and maybe we could do like, um, more like spirit days and stuff like that. I'd like to add on to Victoria because what we can also do is we can make like little posters of like, do not bully, do not call people names, do not do this, do not do that. So people can have an idea of doing the right thing. And something I think we should do to make the school better is have like more security cards around or like more um, teachers up in the classroom True. instead of having like one or one because some students break out in fights in the classroom and one teacher can't do anything. Yeah, we need a lot of, t we need more teachers and more security. Because say, for example, if someone comes inside the building now, then how would one teacher know? You would have to go to another teacher to know. Then you would have more security, and then the security is going to have to protect like all of us while we're still in the building. Why did say make the doors more secure? Because anyone could open it at any time. True. Unless they're locked. But even if they're locked, someone could still take lock the door. Yeah, because like the some codes or anything? Yeah, we need codes. Probably to classroom or 
the front door, we should have like student IDs. Student IDs? Like, yeah, um, student IDs. So then everyone will know who is who. And when you go inside the classroom, you would know that it's not like a burglar or something. And it'll be easier to mark attendance too, because we can mm -hmm. like sign in with mm -hmm. like these and we can see who's not here and who's here. Like in different yeah. classes, we can have like a little rack, a see through rack where you put your ID in so the teacher could see who's here and who's not. And it'll be easier to take attendance. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> because lots of teachers forget in the morning because there's so much to do. Because mm -hmm. usually, um, whenever we come inside, if, like in the classroom in the mornings, like all the teachers are like doing the attendance. They're trying to get everything done. They're going against what they what they schedule. Because like, usually their schedule changes a lot. But to make it easier, probably we should add that to the building. Or we should have like the teacher should have a student take attendance or. A student do this for them, like run errands or take attendance to make their life easier. I disagree with that because if you're saying running with errands, how would they go into like meetings with teachers and principals and they will have to tell the teacher, but then the student will know. But if it doesn't guarantee with the student to be involved with, then how? You know, I mean, like, um, if the teacher has to do this, or like, um, if the teacher has to go drop off the attendance since that will be used. We do the attendance on the computer. I know, but some teachers probably still have to use paper and pen because um, the website is usually not working in the morning, it's usually crashing. I'd rather have like the little game, like the um passes, like mm -hmm. they put it on the student ID so they know that who's who. That'd be more quicker. And it, then it will move all the way to the system, and the system will mark you as if you're absent or not. And I think um we should have make the um, auditorium soundproof kind of. Because it's always so loud in there. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and then a lot of mics don't even work, so I think we need a better mic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and but also, we shouldn't have rooms for our auditorium because I see some people like putting their legs on the seats and screaming. And eating. Yeah. Yeah, but they eat a lot in the auditorium. Also, and, and then throw the garbage in the auditorium, making the garbage, like, maybe the auditorium. And spikes, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, garbage cans and more teachers are there. So, or we can make it that um, the kids who, like, throw the things out, they stay back from, when everybody goes upstairs, they stay back to clean up the mess. Yeah. They made. Mm -hmm. It's like glitch detention. Also, um, fights happen from anger type of thing. So we should put, like, we should make a poster about how to, like, manage your angry, like, things. So they could, like, manage their angry and they could, like, help themselves how to not to be angry in this moment. I agree that we should have probably a 15-minute break to talk about how we feel and how we should try to control that anger. Mm -hmm. And also, Anger is not really the only thing that is like a problem in the school building. Another problem in the school building would be littering, because usually when it's at, like when you have to line up to go to the auditorium, a lot of people leave their trash on the table. So yeah. we need to like make some posters of "Do Not Litter," and some people say that the school lunch is not good, so maybe we can improve on the school. Yeah. Like, we have some more options. Yeah, because some people are allergic to some things that they serve. Mm -hmm. And we should tell the lunch people to be more respectful with the food because they literally just throw the pizza on the plate instead of putting it on the plate. Yeah. Dawson, what do you love about being on 40? Something I love about this school is that the teachers are very kind and respectful, but um, something 
we should do to make it better is probably um, give teachers a five minute or ten minute break uh, to relax. Everyone <clears throat> should have a break. Yeah. Like after we do a whole lesson, while we're transitioning to like from ELA to math, we should have like a ten minute brain break to just relax ourselves so we can get ready for math. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Teachers too, because they have so much to do in the mornings and they're all worked up. Something I like about, or really love, love about LSU Magnet is that most of the teachers that I had was really nice, um, including Ms. Vial and Ms. Humphreys, because they are one of my favorite teachers. Um, another thing I like about this school is that I like how some people in like the school is kind of like, you know, nice, like, Respectful towards you and your religions. Yeah. Yeah. Something and that I really like is I just I love that we have recess at break time in the middle of the day. So I think we should add that. Something I also like is that uniform is not required because some kids don't have the money to buy the uniform because it's expensive. Yeah. And also something I don't really like about LT magnet is how people are really, really rude. So that's why we can't even go outside. So maybe if we include the posters and we have that better upgrade, then probably the impact on people will be like good. And we can finally go outside and other people can finally play as they want to. And I think it's better if we have recess because when we don't have recess, we're just sitting in the auditorium and we build up lots of energy. So when we get back to the classroom in the afternoons, we're always talking, fooling around. Yeah, because the last time when we were out to recess, like in my, the early school year, we were really tired and we were more relaxed when we were doing our lessons after lunch. In the mornings, um, everybody's tired and we're just relaxed in the classroom. We learn better. But when we come back in the afternoon, we're so worked up with so much energy. Yeah, because we see a lot of our friends and we just like go out of control. Yeah. <clears throat> also, I heard the listeners say that when we're outside, we are more calm and use up our energy. So we should have like a quiet corner outside where no one's like yelling and screaming so you can just sit there, you can draw, you can talk to your friends. There's a place to relax. Like a place that you can, like, if you go in Sunday, it's kind of like if you're going sunbathing. It feels like it though, you know, if you're going sunbathing, but it's actually just you in a quiet place. And I think that um, they should lower the price of the uniform because the the shirts are so expensive, and not all the kids have that type of money to buy the uniform. Because there's poor people around the world who can't even afford clothes. Like forty-five dollars for one shirt is too expensive. Yeah. Forty-five dollars. Forty-five dollars. It's more cheap than that, but still, the school should give you like as soon as you want to go, they should give you like one shirt for free because. Like, people would want to know that which school you go to if, like, you're on a school field trip, so you need a shirt so people know which school you're going to. And you actually are required to wear some school, some sort of school uniform when you're on a field trip so you don't get lost. Yeah. I think that should be, like, for all school field trips. Yeah, and I feel like when they're giving out the uniforms, they should give, like, um, pamphlet of really close pieces where you can get your own school shirt. Also we should make the price like half so like it's not that expensive but the half of the price. Okay. Also you know how so we have a talent show before? Yeah. So maybe we should do another type of talent show but not really a type of talent show. Like Probably a special talent show. Or like, like a monthly thing. Or like a yeah, super. Like, like a monthly thing. Like, because if we had a talent show, then we can make this one like, what? Like, um, 
why should you not sire bully or like bully people? And then we can do the other one on, you know, other stuff. And I think the talent show helps us because it gets us to think on what we want to do. And, and it helps us with our careers. It we have to get me. more creative to think of something. So I think it should be a monthly thing, but each month it's about, you know how we have the trade of the month? Each mm -hmm. month the talent show should probably be about that. Or it could also be about like you know the um, like the words that we have every single month. It could be about that, and also I also wanted to add that um, the talent show when there's a lot of people singing, including me. Yeah. <laughs> um, singing is also a way to express your feelings. So I think if some people like singing, then that would be great for them. We could help. But every single month we have like a talent show and like so people can express their feelings, how they feel mm -hmm. and you know. Or we should have like after school clubs for the kids' parents who um come back home from work late and can't pick them up. There's no one to pick them up. We should have like small little clubs on like singing or piano playing. Mm -hmm things that kids can relax or do what they love. Yeah, so we can like, for example, um, say if like a kid wants to like be a police officer, we can have like an after school program about police officers and like, their jobs. yeah, and how to like do their job. Um, we can have them practice, but not with guns, not with guns. Like, no, we could we could have them practice with like nerf guns though, because I don't really think that would be a good idea because um if you point it somewhere and you shouldn't be like it could accidentally hit um someone's eye. So I think we should nerf guns are not that harsh and it doesn't really it's not really that hard and it only if it hits your eye it, then probably but um, some kids are really rough. Yeah, rough with things. And, um, so I then they know. should have come to the after school program if they're really rough. They, we need like people who don't really be like harsh on people, people who actually pay attention in class, people who do their homework, people who like listen. Yeah. I'm gonna add on to what the listeners said about the after school programs by saying like, what if kids are more into like graphic design and stuff, then we could have like people talk about that career. If people are wanting to be a nurse or a doctor, people who talk about that. And after they finish talking about it, you could have like a short 30 minute little lesson about graphic design or medical stuff. And I was thinking we could do more fun things like fundraisers or like more spirit days and stuff like that. And I think we should have more fundraisers to earn for school trips because they're expensive. We have to pay for the bus and we have to pay for the place they're going to. We should also have those like little stands like you know how they had it last year? With all like, the candy yeah. and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. But this time we will make it. Yeah. Meaning like we can make cupcakes, we can make cake, we can make cookies, we can make um, art projects, we can make anything. And I think we should um, make more of the lunch gluten free or um, the milk, I say we change it because lots of people are lactose intolerant or um, some of the milk is really harsh because the last time a student drank it, they threw up. So I think we should have a change in the lunch for us and I was thinking we could do like a trivia contest where like we would give out prizes and the part of the question. Yeah, so we yeah. can make like the Benefit. prizes and then we can give it to like some art prizes, like art prizes on um, slime probably because a lot of people love slime. And like if it's a really good art question, you can get like candy or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to say uh, two things. First, um, in the cafeteria, 
the water should not be that cold because some people might have fever and stuff and if they want to drink the water they would get more like feverish and cold so we should have the water and plus when you drink the water it's like really cold it comes up to your teeth and it's like it's like some it people have to our teeth yeah. mm -hmm. And the second thing is we should have competitions between classes about the attendance. Or should that we have a competition between the cheerleaders and the sharks? What do you mean by that? Yeah. Meaning like who will do better? Yeah, like more competitions and stuff like that. Yeah. So, so probably like who would be doing better at basketball or who will be doing a cheer. But we can do both on the like Cheerleaders versus sharks. Let's see who, who can cheer better, and then we can do um, the sharks versus cheerleaders on basketball or like something that we're both good at. We could do like um, musical chairs or something like that and see who wins. And we need to like make something for like the cheerleaders because they have been like cheering for us even though we have a lot of loss. Um, we only like probably won two times already, and um, I think we they need a thing like a thank you because they've been there for us, they cheered for us, they like help us, and they also tell us sometimes what we need to improve on. I'm a cheerleader, and I was thinking we can finally have outfits because we don't we just cheer our like t-shirts and black leggings. Okay, like, so like kind of like outfits like as we have, like kind of like, or like skirts or something like that because mm -hmm. we don't have any outfits, we just try to teach.